And what's up everyone, welcome back to another video, it's me Eclipse, and today I'm going to be reviewing Panda Dome against testing Panda Dome, so the free version, against uh, a lot of real malware. So, yeah, right now I do not have real-time protection on because I want to uh, scan it right-click first, and then I will uh, run the remaining with behavioral blocker. But first, I want to check out um, exactly all of its like components. So we have scan, critical area scan, we have full scan and custom scan. So you can choose any you want. We have antivirus, you can turn it on off. You have reports, events, scheduled scans, you can scan now, etc. And we have VPN. Honestly, if you need this, you're might want to have it yeah then we have this is your devices overview this is support and we have dark web scanner I don't know what this I don't know what this honestly means but it's a pretty interesting feature as far as I see then we have USB protection <coughs> scans any USB device Sorry if it's laggy, I know it's laggy. This VM has no hardware acceleration, so it's gonna lag. And then this is what we're gonna look at today. 68, oh my god, we're one, we're literally one digit away. But yeah, this is what we're gonna be looking at today. So, process monitor mostly. When I'm going to uh, run the remaining samples, I'm going to look at process monitor only. And no, none of the, you know, none of the real-time modules because that's not what we want so this is kind of like Kaspersky which has like which has like rescue disk this is for I'm guessing Petya and Satana but like you still need a decryptor which it exists for Petya if in case you didn't know there is a decryptor for Petya and for those threats then we have your products and you can add stuff which I don't know why you need honestly so you can see I have real-time protection turned off as you can see so we are not gonna look at real-time protection here we're gonna look at behavior blocker and for before that I will scan this entire folder with panda antivirus and then we'll see what's gonna detect so let's go ahead and do that right now all right and uh, as you can see we're done detected 82 out of uh, 94 and we have 14 left so let me calculate that real quick how what is the detection ratio so we had um, 94 <clears throat> we have 94 uh, minus 14 so detected 80 divided by 94 is 85.1 percent detection ratio not terrible but not amazing so detection ratio isn't perfect and we are left with a bunch of other things so first thing first i'm going to rename this to exe preferably there we go and i'm going to uh you know run all of these so yeah real-time protection is not going to be enabled so yeah we're looking at behavior blocker only, which is right here. And I'm going to have it open as well. <laughs> nice. That's, that's literally the perfect number you can possibly have on, on this. Oh my god, okay. I'll have to stop being stupid and get serious for a second. Okay. Now it's time to start executing these. Let's see. Techie Geeks Home. Advanced Boot Informa provides you with detailed information. What? Uh. Alright, okay. So... No one honestly cares about what this thing's about, so let's just run it and see what happens. Advanced boot informa setup wizards. This looks like adware. What do you mean? It's ain't secure. This looks sus. 
Yeah, bro. Because this is completely legit. Techie Geek Squad. Oh my god, bro. Like, what is that? Like, what the heck? You know what? Let's run JavaScript. Run, run JavaScript. And let's see what happens. JScript. Where's the JScript? Let's see. We have JavaScript. Amazing. Alright, so we have JavaScript. Amazing. It's not really great, you know. Oh my god, man. My god, this is why I prefer a core with no sound. Jesus Christ. Alright, so did nothing against JavaScript. Let's run this. Got terminated. 16 bit. What? I have no idea. This one was dead. <clears throat> this one seemed to have been deleted. <clears throat> Okay, let's run the rest of JavaScript. And this script, and this script. See what happens. We have a lot of scripts. Oh, amazing. <laughs> and this. This did nothing, I think. Oh, wow. What, 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 what? Oh, boy. Okay. Jesus Christ. And fast forward. What the? Yeah, okay, we have quarantine this. Throw epic. Alright, so. Oh, this one. Doesn't work. Amazing. So I think this is it. Let's see what check the scripts. We still have scripts going. Now I am going to restart the computer and we'll see what happens after I do that. And we're back and as you can see there's some sus um you know there's some pretty suspicious pop ups have going right there and yeah. This doesn't look like great thing. Oh my god, it keeps trying to start. Let's see, uh, that's my manager. It's, it's insane. Let me go ahead and get some uh, second opinion scanners and check it out. Let's actually, let's actually use Kaspersky virus removal tool. Feels like a reliable option for this kind of thing. For the kind of infections we have today. Let's see what he's, what Kaspersky is gonna say. It's a whopping 105 megabytes big, so that's pretty respectable. <clears throat> okay, so we have that, yeah. For some reason I had to do this three times. All right, let's begin, I guess. Oh, it's loading. Yeah, great. Okay, here we go. Oh, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just start the scan. <laughs> this is gonna take a bit, so. Yeah. I'm going to speed this up because this is gonna take a while, so. I guess I'll see you later. All right, so we are back and it seems like it detected a bunch of things so you have this we have a worm which is javascript file and we have a script all the javascripts are malicious and we have yeah mostly the freaking javascript so. there's also one in memory a ton of scripts still This one, I think, is malicious. So I'm going to continue with all of these. I 
I'm going to restart and disinfect everything. So let's go ahead. While it does that, I'm going to speed it up. So, yeah. No idea what happened there, but yeah, it might have been, might have infected it. Yup, I think it might have infected the uh, panda. Oh man, I think there was a virus that infected panda as well. That's nasty. That's very nasty. Wow. I just throw a bad image now. It's spamming me with bad image, so. Yeah, this one still here. Yeah, this one. This one was malware. Yes. Now let's see what happens after this. Okay, we are back and uh, the Kaspersky virus removal tool is initializing. So let's wait for that to happen and then we'll see what's in memory still. But I think we're clean. Oh, but where is something in memory though? Oh, this thing, which is hitting memory really hard. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna wait for this to complete and then I'll be back again. Right, so I've waited enough and I'm pretty convinced that the system is fine now. So I'm going to as well stop the scan. Also, I wanted to tell you that this has a very weird and suspicious name in memory, but this is actually the this so I don't know why that is the thing but uh, it is and there we go and this is not malicious so that's it so let's conclude this test now how did panda do like it did detect a lot of a big portion of the stuff and it did block a few on startup when I um, you know launched the rest of it from the real malware folder but sadly it missed all of the scripts and as you probably saw in the Kaspersky uh, when it's when it basically threw out the results it was not really good there were there were pretty malicious and annoying scripts so so I would not rate this very high even though it did have a good detection ratio anyways so thank you so much for watching and yeah make sure you like and subscribe we're an inch away from 1000 uh, total views so that's really amazing thank you guys so much for everything and yeah once again hope you have great holidays and great rest of the year